Capricorn singles, welcome. Doing your singles read here. This is for the first half of October, say first through the 15th. This is meet your soulmate read. Pull eight cards and try to describe the person that's right for you. It's always a positive reading because the question is who's the right one? Not who's the next ex problem, next ex wife, next ex husband, but who is the right one for you to do your soul work with? Um, and we're going to try to get an, get an idea of their uh, behavior, personality, um, and astrology, particularly. Um, so pay attention to that. I uh, usually pull the Sun and Moon and the Venus and Mars signs at least. <clears throat> and get an idea. So get kind of specific. <laughs> Uh, because I see there's someone you haven't met yet, so, you know, by all means, you know, I'm an astrologer, so I don't find it odd at all, uh, particularly if you're a woman, you, you know, if you want to date me, dude, um, you know, I need time, <laughs> an accurate time, um, but it's not that hard to get the date, there's a lot of avenues now, you can get the, at least pull the sun, and the Venus and Mars, usually pretty stable, moon changes every two and a half days, it's always a tricky one, if you don't have a time, I should lose all the houses and everything. Don't get me going. My big thing, time, you know. You know, I think like there's a mass, a massive conspiracy. Of course, they don't want us to know our times because then we can really know our soul's purpose here and nothing, you know. That's why I don't want you to take magic mushrooms. Go ahead and drink yourself to death and murder each other on the highway in your cars as much as you want because, you know, you don't really you get enlightenment out of getting drunk. But God forbid that you put the magic mushroom in your mouth <laughs> and talk to God. <laughs> nope, 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 don't want that. All right, Capricorn. So this is going to read like uh, you're totally single, completely single. And it's going to pick up on someone that's coming in that's right for you, okay? If you're thinking of someone, that's the heart spread. That's up too. Always on Fridays. It's Sag and Cap Day. Also, do check out, please, the uh, Soul Family Reads up for the weekend. Just a collective read for whoever resonates. Think about Terrence McKenna, find the others. Um, that's um, what that reading's about. Just more about meta metaphysics, spirituality, manifestation. Let's look at your person emotionally. Nine of Pentacles. I'm gonna look at the emotional nature. Ten of Cups. And look at the four pillars. Emotional, uh, intellectual, two of wands. It's a different reading, so um, give me a moment. Ten of Pentacles, intellectual. Two of Wands over the Ten of Pentacles. Emotional, Nine of Pentacles over the Ten of Cups. Interesting, complicated, I like it. Sexually, you have strength. Leo energy, very strong. Hello, uh, I hope you're um, capable of having uh, vigorous sex. You know, your heart is okay and everything, because that's coming. And over the Five of Swords, strength over the Five of Swords. Mm. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Now, this is in what I call the Lifestyle Core Values. And the hair font. Wow. Okay, so I don't usually clarify this. I'll just go through here and see what we got with your person. And remember, this is the one that's right for you. There's no reason to be triggered. I have nothing much triggery here. Five of the swords, maybe. Five pentacles. And the two of wands doesn't mean they're trying to choose a lover, okay? It's in the intellectual position. But uh, um, when I look at the emotional position, I see the childhood and I see usually the moon energy. Um, really nice childhood, this person. It's, um, I've seen this a lot lately. It's, uh, cause I think it's unusual to have a good childhood where, you know, they, they I got the feeling it's a single parent though with this nine of pentacles here, but a strong single p parent that just did a really great job. Um, uh, it gotta be, it looks like a woman, you know, it, you're not supposed to read gender, but I get the feeling that there's a woman involved and then ten of cups energy under that uh, I got the feeling that they might be an only child and that this parent man or woman uh, most likely a woman really doted on them they kind of get that feeling just look how that feels from the ten of pentacles I know there's two of them there um, 
and she might have had help from her mom too. So another story would likely come to mind. This person, being an only child, might tell you that's something you pick up when you start telling your stories, these kind of things. Um, they had a good relationship probably with a grandmother. Could have been with a, the, the, you know, when a mother, uh, the, their mother had a sister or a brother or something that helped take care of this child. Maybe they were working, they are a single parent. Um, so it was kind of a little bit of the uh, takes a village to raise a child by, but this would have been a really strongly emotionally connected, you know, grandmother, um, aunt, uh, maybe with a close relationship to the mother, a sister most likely. Um, but in either case, you know, your person was given a lot of love, you know, and that's just great uh, for everyone, you know, like that's what helps human beings be the best we can be, right? Um, and I say that in itself kind of uncommon uh, as a story. And then the two of wands over the ten of pentacles. So I'm getting like earth energy for the moon and... Um, I can't really get a feeling on the moon right now with this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, but I think it's an Earth moon because I think this person's pretty stable. I'm trying to think what would you consider the moon to be the most? Probably Taurus, and they got the crops here and everything. It's a little bit of a Venetian vibe with the um, Nine of Pentacles woman, kind of looks like the mom. Um, and it, it just got a Taurus feel. Uh, the Taurus moon is really nostalgic and really connected with the family and with the past. You know, most Taurus moon people, they would die with something around them from childhood. I don't have anything, <laughs> but I'm a weirdo. But that, it's usually something physical, it means something, but traditions mean something, um, that kind of thing. They, they like beauty. Um, around because the moon is what we need to feel secure you know this is the kind of person like were they in the hospital they would be like that one person uh, that really is going to appreciate the flowers that's because simply it makes it the room nicer this antiseptic room gives it some uh, beauty but with the two of wands over the ten of pentacles kind of seeing a fire sign here mm. it'd be aries I mean, not Aries, Leo, the second fire sign, two of wands, how I would read that. Um, and over the Ten of Pentacles, I see them managing something too, um, in their mind. Um, there's an element of it's just they kind of manage their mind. Um, their Mercury must be in Earth, so um, probably Virgo. So probably have a very good mind if you have a Virgo Mercury. Could be, it depends on the degrees. It'd have to be, no, it's not gonna work. Um, let's skip the Mercury and stay with the Leo uh, Sun though and come back to that. There's something very stabilizing about them. You know, the Ten of Cups is next to the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like not only emotionally stable, but they're emotionally available, emotionally perceptive, emotionally intelligent. Uh, because they're grounded and everything, and they got that th during their childhood. Um, and it carries over intellectually here. The two of wands. So, I think in terms of their mind, um, they probably are very certain about things. Um, maybe over their life, that's what they do. It, that the moon is being in Taurus and being the fixed, um, they they need to feel secure, kind of certain. So intellectually, they like I'm a Sag. Like I don't really like certain. It bores the shit out of me. I like weird, unusual. Who knows? That really turns me on. This person hates that. They they don't want anything that's indefinite or undefined, or or you know in any way um, not uh, bolted down um, they could just have like a very practical bent of mind um, so like they're probably not the person that is going to be into tarot and stuff like that it just would I mean like I like I got a feeling like with this person 
tarot, like I, a lot of times I say, share this with your person. Usually not this reading. The heart spread, I feel, is a good one to share with your person. Or the soul family read, which please do check out if you haven't. It's, it's there for the weekend, uh, just for whoever resonates. Um, but they, it would be like, uh, tarot would be like their nightmare, you know. It's like, seriously, <clears throat> we have these cards decide, like, uh, our future or something. Um, they'd just be like uh, like appalled uh, by that probably. Um, and so, you know, intellectually too, they wouldn't take chances. And I think this carries over to their life. I'll skip the sexual. Usually the second column relates to the fourth column. Intellectual with the lifestyle core values. Sexual relates to the um, emotional aspects. Um, so what I see them in terms of life, again, with the hair font here and the Ten of Pentacles, is, you know, they want certainty. And it extends to their belief system. And um, they may have, in terms of their, whatever they do for a living and the way they live their life, a kind of minimalist philosophy. I think that's what that Five of Pentacles is speaking to. And I'm emphasizing philosophy. And I, I swear to God, please comment. They might say the words to you, I'm a minimalist, or I believe in the minimalist lifestyle, something like that. And it's it's like, a, it's their core value. Um, uh, that's also with the two of wands and the, and the pinnacles too. Um, it's like they're very serious, they're very interested in what lasts and what's solid. And so they, they don't really have a lot of interest in speculation. It, you could go into the chart and, you know, Saturn's going to be exalted. Saturn's going to be strong. Jupiter might be uh, in detriment somehow by aspect or, or placement. And, you know, so they're not someone that likes to roll the dice. They're someone that's going to go the extra mile, build it extra strong, make sure, you know, they're, they're not going to go in for wild theories. They're going to go with the status quo. I'm thinking here and that's going to carry over into their life um, so they're very strong about their convictions too and they have a lot of convictions like they will act out of their convictions if the, if the situation comes up and it's like you know well what are you going to do and they're like well if I do a I'm screwed but I think a by my con own convictions is the thing to do so it's absolutely what I'm going to do and a lot of people maybe myself included go I don't know, I know it's my conviction, but I don't really want to be screwed, so I'm going to do B, and they're going to do A. So there's a lot of integrity, too, that comes with them. And I get the feeling, too, there's not going to be the person going to change their mind a lot, you know. Um, and i got to read here with their um, with strength card being here in their sexual position, um, and their Leo. I think their Venus um, is going to be in Leo as well. You know, um, and so loving with a lot of heart, uh, a lot of courage, um, a lot of passion. And I think like, you know, with the Leo Sun and a Leo Venus, um, they're just uh, going to be really uh, aggressive in bed, um, open, fun, uh, a little bit possessive, um, probably very, very much sexual. Um, and then you get uh, to the Five of Swords here. Um, that kind of feels Gemini to me, um, which would then put the Mars there, um, which could could happen if they're early degree of uh, Leo. Um, it could very easily happen, and um, I think like their Mars might be the the what's in like the weakest place. Somehow it's it's not good. Um, you would think in in um, in Gemini a lot of words and stuff uh, uh, might be part of in their mind part of what their convictions like. It's almost like with their convictions and the way they've structured the world and stuff and how they see the status quo. That's kind of the way they express their will, right? Almost like you'd think the way they would fight. You know. Um, with that Mars energy. Um, so, uh, they might be too, just in terms of sexuality, uh, really turned on by words, 
and keep that in mind. Um, like foreplay for them could be verbal. Um, a lot of times with that too, um, it's not just necessarily sexual. Um, it's just uh, verbally connecting during the day and being uh, romantic and maybe sexual uh, a little bit during the day. It's like, hey, you know, I really wish I had more time this morning because I want to I uh, really wish I could have made love to you again, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, typically, they want a lot of communication around sex, too. So, you know, you might not know that right away on the date, but you'll notice, like, they really like it, like, afterwards, if you're laying there together. And, you know, they might like it if you talk about, you know, maybe you don't, but maybe they would like it, like, uh, you talk about what's... Uh, what happened it specifically, you know, it's like, you know, you did that thing, I don't really like that, you know, and uh, what did you like, you know, um, that's kind of your uh, Gemini Mars energy, um, but so I think we got some pretty good astrological positions, you know, I'm not sure what they do for a living, um, it's, um, they support the status quo, I mean, this could be a kind of person just they, they have a a job with the local government or something that they just stay in they're happy with they're involved i can see them kind of being involved in like local uh, politics at least enough to care about what's going on um going around doing some work in, in that area that could be a story that they tell you and because like uh, they, i don't think they would have an interest in like uh international affairs or even uh, you know, countrywide politics, national politics, because they, they want to see a result. That's part of their intellects. Like, you know, they, even to them, it's like a pie in the sky, the who's president. They don't feel like there's much control over it, you know, but maybe in terms of who's on the city council, you know, now that's something they can get, they got some meat there, they can get their hands on something solid. And maybe there they feel like they can make a difference. So I think that might be a story too that they tell you when they're somehow involved in the community. Okay, so thank you guys. Let me know. Uh, comments help a lot. Do subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.